All right, YouTube. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about poverty in uh, Vegas. Um, anyone can see that just one visit to Vegas that it's kind of impoverished, mainly because it's a, the, of the service uh, industry jobs. You know, they low paying. Everybody know that. Um, but Vegas is, I'm going to zoom back out a minute, but Vegas is mainly uh, presumed to be like a real wealthy um, area. Uh, if you look at some of the stats on Vegas, you see like, well, mainly Nevada, it's like the income is is it's kind of it's kind of high, mainly because you you have a few people that's making a lot of money, and that kind of raises up the stats a little bit. All right, this is uh, the Vegas City Hall. Um. I want to explain a little bit about the city, uh, how it actually it operates. It's mainly a manager operated, as, as well as the county. So they made in the, the council people, they select a, a manager, like a CEO, to actually run the city. But the, the mayor is mainly like a figurehead and it just have one vote. So the city man manager uh, is the person who actually run the city. So okay, so back to what I was originally trying to talk about was poverty. Um, it has been said that one, they're doing a lot of construction on this road here and stuff. They're trying to like, I guess, um, upgrade the, the downtown image uh, had looks and stuff. Um, anyway, uh, one in nine people in Las Vegas is in poverty. So it's a low income area. This is little service jobs. They just don't pay pay that much. So a lot of people just, just living from like paycheck to paycheck. And then a lot of people got families too. And there's one school here, Whitney School, I think, Ellen DeGenerate. Ellen DeGenerate donate, donated some money to school, Whitney, um, I think it's elementary school, I'm not sure. She donated some, um, some money to the, to the school. Mainly because the kids that was going there, they didn't have anything. I mean, they was like eating uh, the catch ketchup packages for, for for lunch and stuff. So Vegas is mainly uh, so Vegas is mainly in an impoverished area. Um, there's no income taxes here. Um, I don't think the people who actually are in business, mainly the casinos and um, the gold mining industry, I don't think they're, they, they pay that much in taxes either. So mainly, if you're not coming here with a, like a real good job or stuff like that, it's just, it's just hard to make it, you know. and and.
Okay, this is some of the new areas over here, what they're trying to revitalize. This used to be, that area over there used to be uh, just railroad land. It was mainly vacant, I guess, whatever the railroad was doing over there with it. But anyway, the city's trying to do this renaissance thing downtown. Um, but I think what's happening is they trying to like push all the uh, poor people that was living downtown because a lot of elderly too that that was living down here too on fixed income they got pushed out um well anyway um vegas like i said it, it's no income taxes here and a lot of people they don't they just can't they can't afford to like pay rent and stuff so you have a lot of homeless problems here you have a lot of people that's that's impoverished school kids going to school without any food eating ketchup uh, packages for 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 lunch and stuff like that so it, it's just all around just a bad situation here in Vegas but mainly I think the main problem here in Vegas is that it's got a caste system, meaning that you have the original people here, they're trying to hold on to their, I guess, status in the community, and you have a lot of poor people that's moving here, they're just moving here, you know, to look for a job, and, 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 and they're just holding on, but they can't really advance because mainly the old the old guard is still here and they won't they won't you know let let the people get a hold they won't do anything new to like try to try to make it better for the for the uh, new people that's coming here in this city Okay, another thing too I like to note is that there's Vegas is mainly um, a, like divided city, meaning that from the strip area, mainly the strip area like Caesars and all that area, that that isn't part of the downtown area. I think what mainly was done for like um, tax purposes and stuff. And another thing too is like Vegas is like I was talking about how the city, the old guard tend to like, in my opinion, they try to prevent the, the newer people that's coming here from really advancing. It's kind of like a, ta uh, a CAS system. Now, this city, look at all the construction that they're doing now. But before, over there on the west side, it was the people over there didn't have no sidewalks. They just recently just got sidewalks over here about a couple of months ago. So, this is the old guard. They mainly, I guess, oppressing the, the, the newer people that's coming here in town. And the people that they don't like mainly the blacks and uh, I think it's the resentment for the older people too so it's just all around just hatred and it's it's and on top of that it's like the tourists are I don't think the tourists are really getting a fair shake either because um, the transportation the people in the in the city they they can't get around. It takes you like two hours on a bus to get to get from from downtown to the east side. I mean to the west side. And oh man, this place is. And they had in line, online, for um, a, a tram system to be built. You know, with people moving where you can move the peoples and and the tourists are around. But they don't want the tourists to to like only come to like two areas mainly downtown and on the strip you know you know if you want to go to the beach or uh, uh the Sumlin 
uh, uh, out on Boulder Highway or Henderson or somewhere, look, you can't go. You know, you can't even find a way. You can't even find your way to Chinatown. It's just hard. Okay, this is City Hall. And this is an example of some of the extravagant, just wasteful spending that the city, city, uh, city is doing. Um, I guess they're just trying to impress some of their friends and, and it's just just opulent, just waste, wasteful spending. And when the people actually need money, they, oh, we don't have it, sorry, you know. Uh, would they need some need to roll fix? Oh, no, we don't have it, sorry. But if they want to beautify the, like the downtown area, oh, yeah, they are. Look at all this, look at all this stuff here. There's tons of money they put in here. And it's not over here. This is an empty lot here. They trying to get somebody to come down here. And then I don't know if you can see it over there, but that's the that's the new transportation center over there. And they didn't really need it. They just have built one new transportation center, but mainly because a lot of poor people was hanging around downtown, down in that area. They decided to like, hey. We could just close this one down and uh, uh, we'll build us a new one. You know, just totally just racism, hatred for the poor, just all around, just animosity toward everyone, may, uh, the tourists included. It's a predatory type of government. I think Obama was, uh, not Obama, but uh, Holder, um, was talking about that Attorney General Holder was talking about that when he done an investigation of Ferguson. He found out the mainly the city uh, uh, police department they were just collecting taxes, just predatory uh, 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 environment uh, against the, the residents of that town. And I think it's the same, the same way all all over the the city. I mean, all over the the country is, is like that. The, the government just takes on a predatory uh, uh, a position of just using the citizen for for their own personal personal uh, 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 use. Uh, this is another example of just city just wasteful spending. I don't know how how much money they pay for this garbage can. And then they put in all these new parking meters. They put in those new parking meters. What's wrong with the old parking meters? I mean, just opulent, you know, just wasteful spending. They spent $3 million over there trying to get a soccer stadium, a, 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 a soccer team to come to Las Vegas. That's the new, that's the new transportation center. Now it's too small anyway. I don't know why they built that anyway. It's not, it's not good, any use use at all, you know. Just a waste, a waste of money. And then they trying to build something over there. I, I just, oh man, just wasteful, wasteful spending. And but they mainly use it just to impress their friends. And that's the. I'm gonna zoom back out if I can. Now that's the the Justice Center, but mainly a lot of these the city, the jail, they mainly just use this like tax collectors, tax collecting taxes from the people. Okay, over that area, that's some of the little high rises and stuff. They trying, they trying to get a lot of people to move down here, mainly the yuppies. You know, they don't want any more poor people, blacks or whatever, because mainly white people, are, in my opinion, they, they act so they're paranoid. Oh, oh, they got black people down there. Oh, let's not go. Oh, you know, like they're going to have a heart attack if they see a black person or something. Oh, that's another little high rise there. It was 
a lot of like low-income people here they stayed in some of those uh, like little motels or whatever they want to call them and they, they just got rid of them man and they want to try to just bring all like yuppie people back downtown I think it was a lot of houses or something I can vaguely remember I think it was a lot of houses here look like they bought out all these houses over here it was some businesses over here and now it's just a vacant lot it's been vacant a vacant lot for years a pan over here. This is another little vacant lot. They look like he, like they park all this stuff here, like they're doing something. I don't think they're doing anything here. And mainly, like uh, Attorney General Holder said, is that they just mainly use the low-income people, these cities and st stuff like this, to like collect taxes from the people, like you know, like give them like these little tickets for nothing, give them fees, uh, fees for like. Oh, you want to clear, clear your uh, your your um, your name off the record? Oh, yeah, it's a there's a fee for that, you know. Come on, man, this this is just predatory government. 